Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a video to share that features some really fun stamps from W Plus 9. They are the Fresh Cut Florals, which has been out for quite a while now, and the newest companion set to that, which is called More Fresh Cuts. And what's great about these stamp sets is that these flowers um, come in di different um, pieces so that you can piece all of the flower images together to create some really fun realistic looking flowers. So to start off I'm just going to go through um, a couple of these images and just show you how to stamp them. I went ahead and already die cut a bunch of the um, flower pieces out of the dies that complement the stamp sets and I just cut those out of Nina Solar White and I have two separate piles because one of them goes with the fresh cut floral set and then the other one goes with the more fresh cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some leaf images first. The first one um, is just a plain leaf, one, one stamp, that's it. Um, I didn't accent that one at all. The second one here is a um, two-step stamp. So you're just going to go ahead and do the base part first. And I did that in green apple ink from Simon Says Stamp. And then there's another um, companion stamp that goes with this one that allows you to stamp the vine area of the, those three leaves there. So I just used a darker ink, the green leaf from Simon Says Stamp as well, and just went ahead and stamped those over top. And you can see there that you get that great um, detail on those leaves there. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on and do a couple of flower images. This first one here I'm using Soft Cantaloupe and Pale Tomato inks from Hero Arts. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that solid image first onto the die cut. And you can see how perfectly they fit right in the center there. And then this one also has a stamp that can be stamped on top. And there's actually a third stamp as well, which is the center area. Um, but I didn't get um, that on film. But I just went and stamped that one with olive ink. And then for this last one that I'm going to show on camera here, this one is a fun one. It has the um, vine part first, so I went ahead and stamped that, the branch area of this. And then you have these great little ball um, stamps for uh, berries, I guess. And then um, some smaller circles that go on the top of those. So I did those in some fun blue inks. So now moving on to the next part of this um, sparkly bouquet, we're just going to go ahead and take the solid images that we used originally and stamp over those images once again, but this time with Versamark ink. And what that's going to do is it's going to coat the whole image in Versamark and allow you to go ahead and put some embossing powder on there. Now I've done this before with clear embossing powder, but recently I saw Jennifer McGuire doing it with the sparkle embossing powder and I loved how it looked. So I really wanted to try it with these flower images. So I am just using this Judikins um, Iridescent Sparkle Embossing Powder. And you can see there that I once I heat set that on there, um, I just ended up with this really great great sparkle so rather than show you me doing all of these different flower images I went ahead and stamped a whole bunch of them um, off camera and I've already embossed them all with the sparkle embossing powder you can probably see it as they kind of move in the light there the different the shimmer that's all over those flowers every single one of them has been completely embossed with the embossing powder so now I'm going to go ahead and assemble the actual bouquet onto my um, card front piece that I'm going to be using here. So that vase that's already um, adhered to the card, that's just cut from Simon Says Stamp wood veneer paper and I actually cut it out of um, with my Silhouette Cameo. So that wood veneer paper cuts beautifully and I just kind of sized my vase to what I thought would work for how, I, how big I envisioned my bouquet to be. And I adhere that right onto the card first and then now I'm going to go ahead and speed through here as I start to assemble my um, bouquet of flowers. So I just kind of, like I said, I, I like things symmetrical. Um, I like to keep things kind of balanced on both sides. So I really love the leave images there at the bottom because you can stamp them in either direction. So that's one of the great features about um, that stamp set. I love when you get the option of having your images mirrored so that you can go either direction with them. So I just started those first and then used the big lilacs as my starting point since they were all the biggest parts of the bouquet. And I'm just going ahead and just kind of fiddling and pushing stuff in and adding adhesive um, mainly on the bottom part where I want to adhere it into the into the bouquet so that when I'm adding more of these flowers in here. It's easier to add them if you don't completely cover your all your floral pieces with adhesive. So I'm just kind of cutting things down and sizing them to what will work for the bouquet and just kind of adding them all in there. And then just 
once I had all the flowers that I wanted, I just went ahead and continued to add some leaves into different areas just to make it look completely realistic um, and have nice, some nice greenery in there. And then once I had all that finished, I just went ahead and kind of used my fingers and lifted some of the flowers and lifted some of the leaves just to kind of give a little bit a little bit of more dimension and kind of have them raised off the paper there a little bit. And then you can see I have that fully assembled there and I, I wish you could see it in real life. The sparkle is so great on uh, on these flowers. So I just jumped ahead a little bit here. I didn't realize I didn't have my camera on when I did this part. Um, but I just went ahead and used some Hemtique twine and created a bow. I think it's three um, pieces intertwined to create that bow there. And then I used the Filled with Love stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. It has this really great small tag image with um, a bunch of different sentiments that fit perfectly in there. And I just thought the Filled with Love worked really well for this floral image that I've created. And then once I did that, I just went ahead and did the background piece. And what I did here is I just used the um, Newton Tangled on the Strip 2 stamps to put a little bit of wood grain pattern there. And then went ahead and added the strip of the darker pool color so that I could layer my um, floral image on top. And then to finish the card, I just added some glossy accents under all of the different flower pieces just to make sure that they stayed put on the card. So that completes the card for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.